Welcome back. Another episode of the M50 B30 Stroker build. Uh, last episode, we finished off getting all the cams in place and getting all them torqued down. Uh, so that's done. This episode, now we're going to get everything um, timed up, and get the vanish back on, and hopefully get the oil filter housing back on, and a few other bits, maybe start getting the loom back on and all the sensors. Uh, so we're coming close to getting it all finished. Um, looking forward to getting it into a car and actually testing it out and seeing what it was like and if it's actually worth doing. Uh, so I'll try to film as much of the timing as possible and show you as much of that as possible if I can. And we'll go from there. Right, so I'll uh, just show you where I am at the moment and um, what I'm doing. Uh, so I've just stuck the crank pulley wheel on um, just so I can get the top dead centre. Um, so basically rotate the engine clockwise until you line up the top dead centre mark with the top dead centre mark on the block. If you see the top dead centre mark on the crank pulley and top dead centre mark on the block itself. Um, so you get that in place. Then what we also need then is um, our cams. Um, before doing this obviously get them at top dead centre. Um, you know when they're at top dead centre by the front lobes um, face each other. But also you make sure you lock your cams in place with the correct tool. As you can see there are two dots and two dots facing straight up. That means you're top you're in top dead centre at the top. And then so where I am now is I put the exhaust sprocket wheel on. Um, this arrow has to be facing straight up and these holes roughly in the middle. I've stuck the tensioner in um, so that's all tight and I've popped in the bottom guide rail um, two E8 um, torque bolts. They're 10 newton meters each. Um, so next on the list now is get the tensioner into place, get the crank signal um, thing back on there, uh, shim um, and then get the other sprockets back on and the vanis. Uh, so I'll show you as I'm doing it. Okay, so all the vanished chains and sprockets are all on. Um, give you a look and just go through what I did. Um, right, as you can see, so tensioners on, um, 10 newton meters for these. That one, that one, that one, and that one just there. Um, then on this uh, basically put on your two sprockets with the timing chain as i showed you it should when you're moving these when they're loose when you move it completely to the left um the bolts that should be both on the right when you move it completely to the right they should move all the way to the left um basically then so when you put this on there's like a four mil shim in here then like a spring washer and then a two mil shim and then bolt that on to 10 newton meters um, next now is just to get the vanis on, a uh, new gasket for a vanis gasket and I'll use a bit of um, RTB sealant um, I'll get that on and see if I can video it for you. Right so um, vanis is on, um, I didn't film it because it was a pain in the arse. I'm um, trying to hold the camera and do it at the same time, it wasn't possible. But engine's all timed up um, and the vanis is in place. I'll show you. So there you go, vanis on. All installed onto the M54 cam and um, went on easy enough. Um, everything lined up. Uh, so basically, now it's just um, building up the rest of the engine and going from there. Um, right, so just stuck it on. Um, that's as much as I'm doing for today. Um, next weekend, hopefully I'll get it finished off and ready to put into a car. Um, I have a car ready, engine's out, so um, once everything's bolted on, I can put it straight in and test it out. So, um, see you next time.